Aloha Aina. I'm Ehu Kekahu Cardwell with the Kauai Foundation, right here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Well, mahalo to everyone who contacted us here at Free Hawaii TV about our video last week with Kaleo Farias, who was the Office of Hawaiian Affairs' former number one recruiter for Kauinoa. We've never received so many comments and questions as we have with Kaleo's video. A lot of you were understandably angered and upset by what he revealed. You told us that now you know Kauinoa is based on nothing but lies. Others had questions. Why did he do this? Why is he coming forward now? And even, why should we trust him? Two questions in particular you kept asking. Is he sorry now for getting those 20,000 signers on Kauinoa? And does OHA have access to the registry itself, even though OHA claims the lists are protected and held by Hawaii Maui? So here's Kaleo Farias once again, answering those two questions and a whole lot more. I went out and signed up over 20,000 people, um, you know, again, with the belief that it was unifying our people. Yeah, so to tell you the truth, uh, uh, concerning the registration process, I would have to go by uh, the Hawaiian way where, you know, somebody told me there, there was Hawaiian. I would have to, uh, you know, trust them that, you know, uh, again, they were telling me that they, you know, the truth is that they were Hawaiian. Um, so a lot of a lot of the people that did register, uh, I'm sure it wasn't. And I wanted to talk a little bit about Hawaii Maoli and, and the OHA connection. Uh, you know, they hired this uh, nonprofit organization called Hawaii Maoli, uh, again, which would be in charge of this, uh, you know, Kauinoa list, which would, uh, you know, supposedly was confidential. OHA does pay them a lot, you know, a lot of money, uh, way more than they, uh, a lot more than, again, the work that's being done. You know, eventually uh, I realized too that, you know, they had access to the list after telling people that it was confidential, you know, that it, would, it wouldn't go out to a third party. And, uh, and obviously, obviously they lied to us because, you know, now they're using the list, you know, for, in support of the Akako Bill. Akako Bill is not, is not, is, 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 is something that's going to extinguish something that we've had in our hands since uh, the beginning of time. I signed up 20,000 people uh, that registered with this registry here with the understanding that it was just a registration. But I do want to apologize now, now knowing that, you know, all of these names was used, you know, for in support of the Akaka Bill when I know a lot of you wasn't in support of the Akaka Bill. Um, again, I apologize to each and every one of you. For those of you who, who uh, have registered um, and have this shirt, Kawinoa, this is to build a nation. Um, you guys need to replace this shirt with the understanding, you know, that you guys heard today with Ankawinoa, again, to save a nation. So please take your name off of the Kawinoa list because it is in support of something that will extinguish all of our rights and all of the titles to uh, all of the lands here in Hawaii. As Kaleo said, go to Ankawinoa.org, fill out the form, and send it in to remove your name from the Kawinoa registry. Because Kaleo was on the inside at OHA, he knows the score. So no one believes OHA's lies anymore. And if you want an Unkawinoa shirt just like Kaleo was wearing, go to unkawinoa.org and order yours today. And by the way, if you like this free Hawaii TV video, send it to one other person you know. Help spread the word. And again, a special mahalo to Donna Burns for her help in making this video possible. I'm Ehu Kekahu Cartwell with the Kawani Foundation, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.